welcome to another Unmuted with Marsha. And what a special guest we have today. And she has focused on this issue of illegal immigration in our country. And over the last few years, she and I have had so many conversations about this because Wendy Corcoran is an angel mom. And she has watched closely as Joe Biden has let 9 million illegal immigrants in this country, as he has taken executive actions that have caused our country to be less safe. And it, it's made it easier for people who are illegally here to be in the country. And she has done all of this because her youngest son, Pierce, was killed in an auto accident by an illegal immigrant. So Wendy, I am so grateful to you for your willingness to share your story. And I know you and DJ have worked through this issue. So why don't you pick it up after Pierce was killed and what you all encountered in trying to get justice for that lost life in dealing with an illegal immigrant in the country? Well, it was um, unfortunate that our eyes were open to, to the to the issue. I mean, I think we were a little bit aware, but not, not personally, I guess. And I think that's probably what it takes sometimes to wake you up. But um, following his death, we um, immediately um, were thrown into to learning a lot of information about illegal immigration and how the man was here for so long and um, took no responsibility at all in, in the 14 years he was here. Um, you know, he rendered no aid to our son the evening of his, of his death, which is hard as a human, <laughs> you, the human aspect of it is um, hard, but um, he was deported um, we had to wait many months and go to many hearings um, as they fought to, to keep him here in this country. So um, he still has faced no consequences for the death of our son. And, and if he returns, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll get that day that, that he will answer for that. But, but we, you know, um, we just pray no other families have to go through it, but we sadly learned recently that, it's happening more often with the, the current administration. So, yeah. Yeah. And I recently reintroduced a piece of legislation I had in 2007, believe it or not, when I was in the House. It's called the CLEAR Act. And it would require ICE to work with local law enforcement. And when they have apprehended someone, then that they be deported and barred from the country. And I I know that those of us who know and love you and DJ and your family and have followed this situation so closely that uh, you want to make certain that people who are criminal, illegal aliens are not able to be in the United States or in our communities. And recently it's come to light that the Biden administration has been flying as many as 300,000 illegal entrants from there at the border and directly into communities. How has, how has it affected Knoxville when you hear about what is going on with illegal immigrants in your community? And what do you hear from people who reach out knowing that you have lived this horror firsthand? Well, we are, we are in contact and um, watch closely the um, criminal aspect here in Knoxville um, with the Sheriff's Department um, tracking um, the arrests. And um, luckily <laughs> Knoxville has 287G in place where they do um, hold them accountable and turn them over to the federal government, which is not the case across the country, which seems ironic to me that you um, have to have legislation to expect law enforcement to enforce the law. So that that's a little bit um, confusing to me. But, um, you know, there's the argument that that 
you know, they come here for a better life. And, and but we are talking about those who don't. And we know for a fact that some come here and cause harm to others and they never pay the the price for that. And, and they never have the intent to seek a better life. They are really here. They're criminals when they come across and they're not changing their ways when they come across. So and um, but we're left to pay the price for it. Citizens yes. are that, you know. Um, yes, that's so, right. But, You're exactly yeah. right. It is citizens that are paying the price for it. They are paying for the benefit that mm -hmm. illegal immigrants see, receive. They're paying for the food, the shelter, the clothing, the education, the iPhone, and the plane ticket to wherever they want to go in the country. And then we see this uptick that has mm -hmm. occurred in crime in many cities, much of it caused by gangs that have illegally entered the country, much of it caused by criminal illegal aliens. Mm -hmm. And enforcing that 287G statute, as you mentioned, it is mm -hmm. so vitally important, and that's one of the things in the CLEAR Act that we that we would do. You know, the State of the Union is this week, and in 2019, you were my guest mm -hmm. for the State of the Union, and we had our focus on what was happening on illegal immigration. And I have found it so interesting that President Biden finally made a trip to the border but chose to go where they mm -hmm. had because of the work of Texas and mm -hmm. the Texas Highway Patrol, they had begun to seal their borders. And um, I know he's going to talk about that this week. So in the minute we've got left, what is your message to to parents, to people in communities, to people that are experiencing carjackings or harm that is coming from gangs or those mm -hmm. that are illegally in the country? Well, I think you spoke about Biden going to the border and, and he's now calling it a, um, a crisis but that he created. I mean, you know, we already had a crisis, but in his first hundred days, he he was quite proud of the fact that he opened the border wide up and left us all, you know, at risk. But I hope families understand that, you know, our family, um, we are coming from a place of care and concern for, for not only also for some of the immigrants that are, that are put in harm's way too. Right. And many people are being hurt by, by the open border. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, um, but you know, it's most troubling to me with with the death of uh, Lake and Riley that our young women are at huge risk, and I don't think people yeah. really get that. <laughs> so, yes, so I right. just we just hope it doesn't happen to other families. But we do feel like we're going to be looking at other families and and saying we're sorry that we couldn't yeah. do more. Right. So. I think you're right about that. And as we hear about the murders, the rapes of young girls. This is something that is a cause for concern. And we pray for these families that have been so mm -hmm. affected. And we also are just hopeful that we will see the Southern border secured and that we will have safer communities and find a way to secure that border and end this illegal immigration. Well, Wendy, as always, you are very gracious in telling your story and sharing your thoughts with others. I am just so grateful for your friendship and your willingness. And to our audience, as always, you will find me at Marsha Blackburn. Thank you for joining us for Unmuted with Marsha.